our God is a wonderful father. A father indeed who knows everything about us and who takes care of us beyond the earthly father. What does the earthly father know anyway? He knows that you were in the womb. He does not know how it happened. And he knows that you came forth child. He doesn't even know the methods by which things work. And he sees you growing, does not know how. But the heavenly father, God indeed, is the one that makes everything happen so he knows totally about you. Today is a day of God's favor upon us. And we are going to read Ezekiel chapter 34. And I'll read from verse 25 to verse 31. Ezekiel 34, 25 to 31. I will make a covenant of peace with them and cause wild beasts to cease from the land. And they will dwell safely in the wilderness and sleep in the woods. I will make them and the places all around my heel a blessing. And I will cause showers to come down in their season. There shall be showers of blessing. We will continue the reading, but let's stop there so far. God says he will establish a covenant of peace with them. With who? His own children. Are you a child of God? Are you born again? Have you accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior? This covenant of peace is with you. You know when Jesus was going away, he said, my peace I give unto you. Everyone that belongs to him is part of the covenant of God's peace. And what is the direct effect of it? Wherever you find yourself, you are secure. He said they will dwell safely in the wilderness and sleep in the woods. You can sleep in the forest. What is he saying? Nothing. Of this life, the things that are harmful to men cannot be harmful to you. Your life becomes exclusive to God when you come into God's covenant of peace. Jesus said, my peace I give unto you. I will make them and the places around them a blessing. Whatever belongs to you is blessed. You know, when you become a blessing, it's not just that you are blessed. You are blessed enough that you are able to reach others and bless others. When your place becomes a blessing, it means that whoever comes to you will receive a blessing from you. Boy, that's a wonderful state anybody can be in. That you are not only blessed... You have now become a blessing. Whoever touches you has found blessing. Whoever comes near you has found blessing. Not just you, the place around you, your territory, whatever belongs to you. And he says, I will cause showers to come down in that season. There shall be showers of blessing. There's a hymn we used to sing, there shall be showers of blessing. This is the promise of God. This indeed is the promise of God. I will bring showers of blessing upon you. That means you are so blessed that continually you are walking in blessing. It's all around you. Blessing is all around Oh boy, this is something that is happening to somebody even right now. The showers of blessing are coming upon you now in Jesus' name. I mean, I will continue the reading. I'm reading verse 27. Then the trees of the field shall yield their fruits and the earth shall yield her increase. They shall be safe in their land, and they shall know that I am the Lord. When I have broken the bands of their yoke, and delivered them from the hand of those who enslaved them. And they shall no longer be a prey for the nations, nor shall beasts of the land devour them. But they shall dwell safely, and no one shall make them afraid. I'll stop the reading there, I'll continue. Now he says, the trees of the land, whatever you are doing, shall find fruitfulness. Whatever your hand touches to do shall not fail. As the scripture itself says, whatever your hands finds to do shall prosper, shall succeed. You prosper in all that you do. And there is safety for you. He said, you'll be safe in the land. The things that is destroying others cannot destroy you. The kind of things that are a problem for everybody will not be a problem for you. Because what? God has broken the bands of the wicked. The wicked can come around you, but they cannot harm you. You are secured by that covenant of peace. And by that covenant of peace, there is a secure coverage for your life. For God has delivered you, if you are listening to me, from the hand 
of that one that sought to enslave you, of that man that thought you would become enslaved forever, of the covenants of your family and the things that had ruled over everybody, you are free from them. Their bands have been broken. Whatever yoke was placed upon you has been broken already. And you can never again become subject to them. You can be prey to them. Whatever thing binds others will not bind you. Whatever thing subdues everybody will not subdue you because of God's covenant of peace. And you will dwell safely and not be afraid. You have no reason to fear the Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. You are showing this as a sign to someone now. Thank you, Father, for you are letting somebody know that even right now, the bands are broken and the yoke can never come upon them again. In Jesus' name, amen. You have no reason to fear. I am going to read verse 29 and verse 30. I'll raise up for them a garden of renown and they shall no longer be consumed with hunger in the land nor bear the shame of the Gentiles anymore. Thus they shall know that I, the Lord their God, I am with them. And there the house of Israel are my people, says the Lord. Praise the Lord. That you will come to know that you belong to God, he will distinguish you. This last part says, he will give you a special kind of garden where everything prospers such that you do not come into hunger. What is he saying? I will supply your needs. Can God supply our needs? Yes. You know, God told the children of Israel, I'm going to produce meat. And say, can, who can, what kind of meat will come out in a desert? They were walking in the desert and said, I'm going to give everybody meat to eat. They even asked, even if all the cattle we have were killed, how I mean, will it be enough for all of us? We are too much for the number of cattle. And even if you killed all the fish in the ocean, for how long will it feed us? But God did provide. God has a storehouse that one can never be exhausted. Two, contains absolutely everything that life requires. The word of today is a word of peace, a word of blessing. The blessing of God comes upon you. And I am going to pray for you. Father, this word must be effective in our lives. Everyone that hears this word today, this word comes effective. And I pray you open the eyes, yes, of those who are spiritual that they may see what you have done. Open their ears that you can tell them what is happening in their lives. May they come to this point of satisfaction. Covenant of peace restored wherever it had been faltered. Covenant of peace established where there was none. Covenant of peace made known. Where it exists and nobody has an idea. Father, let this covenant come upon all. There is showers of blessing. And everyone here has become a blessing. In Jesus' name, amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with you now and forevermore. Amen. Mm -hmm.